Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Canadian Watch Monkey. Today it's going to be a fun one. I have my daughter here with me, 17 years of age, and I'm going to get her to rate my watch collection and to see which watches that she likes and which is her favorite of the bunch. There's going to be a lot of watches to go through, so we'll do it relatively quickly. So what I'm thinking is just start off with yes or no to the watches that she likes, put them off to the side, and then she can work through the ones that uh, that she liked and then go from there to see which is her favorite of the bunch. All right, so I'm going to flip the camera around now and you'll be introduced to my daughter and she'll be reviewing my watches. Okay, let's turn it around. Okay, so we've got the camera flipped around now. Here are the watches that she's going to be going through. As you can see, there's a shitload. So anyway, I'm going to turn the box around and Denise can start to uh, choosing which ones that she likes best. So let's flip the box around. What about the other box? Oh, I mixed them all together so you can't tell which ones are the expensive ones and which oh. ones aren't. All right, so here's Denise, and she's gonna go through the watch collection and choose. Actually, that's good if you leave the collection like that. I'm gonna move the iPad over. All right, so start choosing which ones, yay, nay. Okay, so the first one, no. yes or no? No? Okay, so it's no to that. And no. Okay, she's not liking the big boys. Oh, what did she put there? Oh, an okay. SKX. Nice choice. Vintage. Oh, that would be the Christopher Ward that she's putting in the like list. C60 Elite. Oh, the Vostok got put to the side. Well, she's definitely cavitating towards the Christopher Wards. Uh, what do we got here that she put on the like list? Ah, okay. Frederic Constance made the cut. Oh, she's definitely got a style, I think, guys. I like she's the face not... of this. I don't like the strap. Okay, well, put it there then on the on the good I side, I, I guess. I don't like the strap like at all. Okay, that's a Vostok dive watch, so I get that. That was just for... That strap was a commemorative strap, I guess. The Oris. What do you know about Oris? It's watch. So it's there, a watch brand. There. She, so guys, she liked the Oris and the uh, Hamilton dive watch. Okay. So let's see those facial expressions. Dude, they all kind of all look the same. Dude, They're you really don't like that? Okay. That's my young hands. They're Meister Telemeter. Same, Dad. Okay, I'm not influencing you in any way. Can you tell us what you know about watches? What kind of watches are there? Like for um, movements and that. Um, there's mechanical. Okay. And automatic. Yeah, what else? Um, Which is the one that take batteries? Uh, quartz. Very good. <laughs> okay, keep going. I, I like the face. I don't like the strap. Am I okay. putting straps? No, on you don't. Leg? No. Okay, so she liked the face on that. Well, that's you know another what? Frederick Constant. All the faces Constant. are looking the same. I really. Well, you them. got a certain taste, that's for sure. Another Hamilton made it on the cut. Oh, she's not liking the vintage Seiko. That's my Seiko helmet. Didn't make the cut. All right, we're three minutes into this. Keep her going. I can't tell. This one looks too similar. Oh, Just put it down. It. If you like it, then you like it, they're, right? They're the same watch, dude. No, they're not. They are? No. Okay, they're a little bit. They're close. This one? Okay. One's a quartz, one's mechanical, but yeah, otherwise. This is the one she's talking about, guys. They look very similar, and she's right. This one's cool. I like this So, one. you can see here, that's the quartz, and that's the hand wind mechanical. They're all the same. Oh, you definitely like your Christopher Wards. Okay, that's cool. Oh, the Tribus <laughs> made the cut. I like the Tribus. Oh, you like that Tribus, eh? I okay. Like yeah, the Tribus is, is kind of badass, for sure. That's too bad. Oh, the Hamilton Chronograph. Didn't like that one. Okay, I'm she says it's to too fat. That. Well, I like this one. Okay. Oh, that's another Christopher Ward Grand Melvern. That is a nice watch. It's kind of okay. cool, too. Oh, the Seagull. Made in China watch. Everyone, Dude, that one's kind of famous. Well, we're getting through it. Yeah, I like this one. It looks like a beer can. Okay, so that's a no for the Vostok. 
Oh, she's thinking on this one. Which one are you thinking about? Kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Okay. I like it. Okay. I like it. Oh, she's not liking the sumo. The sumo didn't pass the test. It's cool. Something different. That was the PSR Hamilton. I like this one. Actually, that's one of my favorites. I love this watch. Oh, she apparently really liked this one. And that's the uh, Christopher Ward C65 chronograph that came out not too long ago. Yacht timer, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, that's a nice one. It depends who's wearing it. Like on you, I wouldn't like it, but like on the rock, because he's like a big guy, I'd like it, you know? Which one is that? Oh, that's the Seiko Tuna. All right. So you like it. So just put it as a it's like. Bad. It's not bad. But you're saying that needs to go on a big wrist? Yeah. And uh, I would say she's probably right on that. That is a big, big watch. Oh, okay. that. It's giving me the beer can vibes. Which one's giving you the beer can vibes? The same with this one. They look kind of the same. Oh. I don't like the edge. So the Oris uh, Aquas uh, Chronograph didn't make the cut? No. Too big? Am I doing these ones? Okay. Uh, no, that's good. Okay, let's close that box up. Yeah, and you can nice. put the box off to the side. And now, okay, so these are what we're left with. Okay, so try to go through these fairly quickly on which ones you would consider as good. Actually, you know what? The good ones, the real good ones that you like that really are standing out for you. Okay, that's uh, the Tribus. I think it's called the TR, TR3 or TRI3 or something. Okay, the Christopher Ward chronograph she really liked. Let's go back over here. She's looking over them. I like the Christopher Wards. Oh, if you like that one, put it over there too. But that one looks so similar to that one. No, I don't. Don't like worry the about similar. the similar. That's I don't okay. Like the, the blue edge with the blue in the middle and the orange. Okay, oh, so she's one. not but liking that one the orange. Cooler. I don't know. All right. Yeah, this is kind of hard. I'm not. I don't want to sway your opinion. This feels cheap. Which one does? This band. Okay, let's see which one you're looking at. Sounds like a poorly made button. Boy, she nailed that, didn't she, guys? That's the Seiko SKX, and they're notorious for having cheap-feeling bracelets. But otherwise, how about the look of the watch? I don't like the band. It looks, I don't know, that just looks a lot nicer. All right, so SKX didn't make the cut because of the band. Mm. What do you got there? This also feels cheap, eh? They all kind of... Okay. This one feels nice and sturdy. These feel so, like... Okay, so... You can hear it. All right, so the... This is my... Seiko Quartz chronograph and it didn't make the cut because of the cheap bracelet. Okay, got another Christopher Ward there that she really liked because of the, do you like the color of that yellow? It's mm. kind of neat, I think. Yeah, I don't know. it's different. It's different, it's right? Different. Yeah. Oh, so the Oris TT makes the cut. Wait, 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 wait. I saw the edge, I don't like the edge. You don't like the edge, okay? I don't like the edge. So you've got two horses there. Actually, it's kind of the same model, almost. One is the TT, which was a predecessor of the other one that you've got there, which is the Oris Aquas, first generation. So which one is going to make the cut? If you like them both, put them both down. But if you like one considerably better than the other, then put that one on top of the box. Oh, she killed the TT. Oh, my God. Okay, keep going. <laughs> All right. Is that the wrong move? Oh no, you kept the TT. You like the TT better than the Aquas. I thought you didn't like the side of that one. They have the same side. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. The edges, the weird edge. Oh, I'm, I'm looking at the case here. Oh yeah, no, I like this one. You like that one? Okay, so she likes the TT better than I the Aquas. I think like on a big man, you know? Big man. Big man. Am I a big man? No. no. I'm gonna have to get rid of this guy. Okay. I'm giving too much transformer. All right, so she's another Seiko bites the dust. Okay. Kind of like that one at first, but she's changed her mind about the tuna. Okay. Oh, oh. The process of got another Christopher Ward here. Hmm. It's kind of hard. That's a pretty watch. Know, it is anyway. a pretty watch. It's cool, but like I really don't like the strap. Don't worry about the strap. The okay, strap. Well, that's a strap works. monster. Okay. So another. This is the China watch, the Seagull. These are both cool. Okay, so that made the cut. I'm kind of bad at elimination. Oh, you're almost there. We're nine minutes into this, so not bad. No, I'm taking this one away. I like this last one. The yellow is starting to look ugly. Oh, she killed the Christopher Ward because of the color. Okay. I like 
liked it, but it's just. I but the Oris Pointer Date made but the I cut. I put in another Christopher Ward. And the Rapid Ward. Chrono Another Graphic. one makes it. But another Christopher Ward makes it. Okay, this one's a quartz chrono. But it is, it is you know what? It's, it is a good looking watch, I have to say. I have to say bye to Frederic. Frederic Constant. Okay, yes. that's the Healy, Canadian Club Healy edition. So that didn't make the cut. All right, bye bye. Again, this is her choice, not mine. So don't hate me. No Seiko. Seiko's gone. Seiko. Okay, that is the Seiko. Uh, oh, which model is this again? Monster. That's the Gen 4 Monster. Didn't make the cut. The second cut, anyway. Okay, what are you looking at there? Oh, you're looking at a vintage Seiko LM. I like the Hamilton better. Okay, so she likes she likes going for the PSR. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Back over here. Giving too much military. Too much military. Too much military. Okay, so that did make one cut. Didn't make the final cut though. She's saying it's just a little bit too much military. I can respect that. I don't like this anymore. Okay, so bye bye Vostok. Commandierski. He's back. Oh, and the Frederic, this one here made the cut. Okay, that's the Frederic Classic Automatic. All right, so let's see the finalists here. She's definitely got a style here. Okay, just lay them out. And then you're going to try and pick between these. And for whatever Dude, reason, this, this was totally unscripted, by the way, guys. She's definitely got a heavy favoring towards the uh christopher wards that's for sure and the tribe is, as you know is kind of a christopher ward sibling all right so let's cut cut these ones through now oh again so, yeah okay we'll buy hamilton okay so the psr did not make the final cut bye bye oris the tt is gone bye bye tt <sighs> dad this is hard <laughs> well, it's gonna get harder now because you like these ones, so. Yeah. Oh, so that you really like that one, eh? Yeah, I really like this one. Which one's that? Oh, okay, the gold one. Okay. I don't like the gold, but I don't know. It just looks nice. It is actually a nice watch. That's the that was the Tribus. So yeah, okay. Dude, I like the gold. They all look the same. This one has to go. Which one did you kill? Okay, so that is gone now. That's the seagull. And what did you just kill there? That was a Christopher Ward uh, rapid. Or my top five. Okay, so these are her top five choices. I'm going to just zoom in a little in bit. In no for specific you guys. order. Okay, top five Tribus, Frederick Constant, the Oris Pointer Date, another Christopher Ward. This is the only quartz one that made the cut. And then you got the chronograph by Christopher Ward. Okay, try and make a cut here. Okay, you can only take one home, or you're going to choose one watch for me. Dude, that's crazy. I know. So it should be like. An everyday watch? Like, I don't know. You can't have one. You have to have more. I'll try to choose. Well, it depends what it's for. Give me, like, an occasion. Okay, choose two watches then. One formal, more formal, and the other one just an everyday. Cool, I think this is your only option. Like, something different. These all kind of look the same. Okay, so you're saying this is one that I would keep? Yeah. Okay, so that's the Christopher Ward C65 Chronograph. Excellent choice. That is a beautiful I really watch, like by this the way. one, but I feel like that's not a good everyday kind of watch. Because you right. can't be rocking gold every day. But it's a nice one. Okay, so that one is gone. We're getting there. Okay. And that is another great watch. You can see my daughter's got pretty nice taste, that's for sure. So that is I really like this color. gone. Okay. I like Which this one? color a lot. Oh, she's the pointer date. Okay. This one's pretty like nice, classic, sleek, you know? Okay. We're ignoring the only strap, one, right? We can only keep one chronograph, though. We're ignoring the strap, right? Yep. Okay. Dude, that's kind of hard. I don't know. They all look the same. <laughs> I like... Bye, Christopher. Okay, bye-bye, Christopher. 
can see she had to really think about that one. So the Christopher Ward. This is a quartz one, by the way. Nice watch know. for a quartz. It's a hard awesome. choice. They're two different watches. Like this one's colorful and this one's not. All right. You know what? Let's keep top all three. three. Top three. Uh, so these were the top three watches that she chose for me. All right. We have a very classic Frederic Constant. I think that's a, a 39 mil. We got the legendary, by the way, Oris Pointer Date in the blue, which is another really nice watch. Good choice. Yeah, good. And then the Christopher Ward, C65 Trident. Okay. And I think you chose well, Denise. Honestly, these would be three watches if I were to keep three. Could very well be the three that I would have kept. So what do you guys think? Did she make the right choices? I think so. I think so too. Any words you would like to say to the people out there watching this video? Hi. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm going to flip the camera around now and uh, say a few little bits and uh, you can leave you some comments as well. Okay. I've got the camera flipped around now, as you can see. I'm not nearly as uh, pretty as my daughter. So we've gone through all these watches that were here and she picked her top three. And there was again, the Christopher Ward C65 chronograph, the Frederick Constant classic, and the Oris pointer, big crown pointer date. And again, all great choices, I think. I think she chose well. Would have been nice if she added a dive watch there, but uh, I guess she just uh, cavitated more towards these. And that this, by the way, guys, I didn't coach her on any of this. This was just, let's do this and just go through the box and see which ones you like and which ones you don't. And I think she's got great taste. Uh, not, not bad at all. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Which one was your favorite watch or which ones would you have said are the, are the top picks? Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss another episode of the Canadian Watch Monkey. Your support is definitely, definitely appreciated. All right, guys, that's it. That's a wrap.